are you doing? Instagram photo shoot. I know, look at this. My flip flops are broken and I'm standing on sharp ass rocks. Uh, don't fall by. I don't know what we have or haven't actually vlogged. I don't think we've vlogged anything. Oh, sorry guys. We, I don't know. We just haven't had the camera out much. We actually haven't been doing that much since we've been in Thailand. Right now we're in Ao Nang. So over the past few days, we've just been chilling here. We explored some of the village. We had the best mango sticky rice in this area. Their sticky rice was incredible. Oh, what was that place called? Pachawana. Pachawana. They actually had a triathlon yesterday. I was going to wake up and record it in the morning. It started at 6 a.m. And the night before, we ended up binge watching the new Narcos on Netflix. So <laughs> Was it Narcos or that other show? Ozarks. I don't know. It's one of them. We've been going back and forth. But we did go to the beach yesterday afternoon. And it was nice because the sunsets, sunsets have been like awesome here every night. And we got a really awesome picture. And if you want to see all our pictures, don't forget to go to Instagram. Instagram. There is so much to do here. There are so many different little tours and day trips and island hopping, rock climbing, kayaking, and we did none of it. <laughs> One of the reasons people recommend coming here to like Krabi and Ao Nang too is also the huge limestone rock formations. Reminds us a lot of the Philippines. We're catching a ferry today to PP Island. It was 350 baht per person. It's about a four hour boat ride. Generally people will either catch it from here, either Krabi, Ao Nang, or Phuket. I think those are kind of the three ma major areas. We're gonna go to PP Island for a few days. We decided we want to just do the tours from there, like Maya Bay, where they film the beach. And then there's some other things. We'll figure it out. Just going, enjoying. It's nice to be at a beach again, though. Like we got in the water a little bit yesterday, and. It's nice, I miss it. You guys are just getting to see travel days. So tomorrow in PP Island, we will for sure take you out. That'll probably, maybe it'll be on this video. I don't know. Time to say goodbye to this awesome Airbnb. This is one of the best value places we've stayed. Yeah. Wi-Fi was awesome. Bed was super, super oh. comfortable. Clean, fridge, AC. AC. Oh. Amanda has a Facebook friend anniversary. I didn't even know people actually like celebrate those things. I, it pops up on Facebook. You can't. It's the first thing on your feed. But it's with my mom. So they've been friends on Facebook for four years. And I was telling Mark that it was the first time I met her, and that I could see it in his eyes that he loved me. If I couldn't say it. <laughs> oh my! God. Can you guys see it in my eyes right now? She always remembers all these little details from years ago. I remember yesterday. <laughs> Anyways, we just had a little pancake from here. It's like fried dough with bananas fried inside of it and then Nutella. That was our breakfast. And she's not like stingy with the Nutella either. And we wash it down with one of these. Mango shake makes a return. But Amanda, what is our consensus on the mango shake here in Thailand? It's okay, but it's Got nothing on the Philippines. For real, the mangoes just aren't as good here. Yeah. Like the sticky rice is amazing, but if we have sticky rice in the Philippines, oh, it'll be Pew. all over. Pew. <laughs> it would be mango shakes and mango sticky rice all day, every day. Yeah, just mangoes everywhere. Mangoes. <laughs> all right, is here, but I have to be careful because this is where I hurt my ankle. Okay. Thank you so much. Camera's gotta turn off. I was walking by the ocean, feeling all. We're 
we're going to pee pee. Go this way, the mini pee pee walk. Okay, great, thank you. Okay, this way. sidewalk and rolled my ankle. <laughs> Same ankle too. Now we have to go find a hotel. Somewhere to sleep. Somewhere out of the next to me cause time stood still This place is like, uh, reminds me of like Gilly Air on steroids. I was gonna say it reminds me of Borkai. <laughs> Like this is what you're gonna expect to get for about $15. It's definitely got a little must to it. It's it's moist, it's wet. Definitely having kind of flashbacks to Corona. Just doing a kind of a quick look to see if there's any bed bugs. It looks all right. So we are now walking to go find some food and luckily right when we walked out of our room there was a group of three people that checked in when we did. They invited us to come along on their private tour tomorrow but it's super cheap. Only 150 baht. 180. 180 baht. Like we were seeing things for like 700 baht, right? Yeah. It seems too good well, to be true. Well it's a private though. It's gonna go to like a few different destinations. I think it's only three hours but yeah. it's going to Maya Bay and it's gonna leave at 7 a.m. So everyone says go there early because you want to beat all the tourists. Our mission will so be to is, get up early. Yeah, but that's perfect. Like that couldn't have worked out any okay. better. We want to eat your feet. <laughs> so that was one of those places where the fish, she said they don't actually bite your feet, but they just suck on it. She said it's good for mosquito bites. I wish I need had that. one. I have always wanted to do that. Do it, it was only 200 baht, right? I don't, yeah. You don't want to do it? Yeah, I'll do it. A little sucky sucky? <laughs> just found out there's not a full moon party no. here. I really thought there would be. So it's only really gonna be in Kofen Yang, Kofen Yang. But he said there might be like a little one up here at this place called Slinky Bar, but there are gonna be Muay Thai, Thai boxing. Tonight, Eight o in two hours. Yeah, look at these people, like the water's so shallow. Look how far out they are. The guy over there told us that they're having Muay Thai fights here at Slinky Bar starting at 8 p.m. So I told Mark we should get a front row seat. I 
think this is a Thai beer, product of Thailand, Chang. We haven't had these before. So it's 60 baht, so it's about $2. We have two, two and a half hours to kill. I'm gonna be shit-faced by the time. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, yeah, man, let me go. Let's drink real let me slow. Bite. I think the fights are gonna start soon. There's actually people over there now. Made it back, one piece. I got to go up on, on the little stage there with those fire guys, but they dropped a little nut shot with those metal <laughs> fireballs on me and the dude next to me. A little surprise. It, that shit is hot. You don't realize how warm it is when they get it close to you though, it's like I was standing next to the stage and it was hot. We're gonna call it a night because we have to wake up at probably 6 a.m. to catch those other people. At seven. At seven. I hope you enjoyed our travel day. <laughs> if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Subscribe if you're not already a beautiful beastie. But you should be. And we will see you guys tomorrow when we head to the beach. Why are you putting shoes on? <laughs> so we're laying in bed right now watching Narcos. And I have this bag down here of trash. I heard a noise. What is that? Maybe you put it up there so it can't get. Well, anyways, I heard a noise in the bag, and then I look up and I just see like the butt of something. And I was telling Mark it was either a really small cat or a big rat. No, I'm saying I know it was a rat. I know a cat didn't do that, but that thing was big. Shut the door. The light switch is behind the towel. Oh my god. Because there's a hole back there. Open the door. There's a hole in the ground. Yeah, where the drain is. Why? Don't rats go down drains and shit? What kind of nice are we talking? Like, <laughs> like a New York City rat? Like a I York think City. a New York City rat. Okay, just shut the door, maybe. <laughs> I'm sure it got scared. Well, that was our first rat experience. Yeah, never in our place. Ew, now I want to, I need to put all my stuff on, what are you, you're scaring me over there. Hmm? What is your plan, are you going to step on the rat? <laughs> I don't know, fuck <laughs> <laughs> So manly. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. I don't know, it must have been in the, it must have went down the drain. Dude, the rats get like s super small. They can fit in small places. No way, dude. Yes, dude. Right there. But back to Narcos. I just saw some face. So that was, that was the rat. That was our roommate. We kicked him out. I think he wanted to get He was in here, but he had went down into the friggin' drain and we could hear scratching. I had closed the bathroom door and the rat was stuck in here. But since he was locked in here, he like clawed his way out. Look. We could hear him digging and that's what he was doing. And eventually he clawed it off the way so we could climb back out the door. 
and he ran out through a hole in the wall. I mean, it was a good sized rat, but it wasn't, I've seen bigger rats in New York City. It was kind of cute though, it was kind of funny. Yeah. It popped his little head up and was like, hey guys, let me the fuck out of here. He just wanted to leave. Okay, now we're gonna go to bed. Hopefully there's no more guests. Uh -huh.